The Haunting of Riyadh Hills, A Tale of Shadows and Secrets In the heart of Kenya, nestled amidst the undulating Riyadh Hills, there stood a house that defied explanation. Its grandeur was unmatched, yet it bore an air of desolation, a place where beauty and eeriness coexisted in an unsettling dance. The house on the highway. Travelers along the Kisumukakamega Highway would slow down as they approached the enigmatic structure. Cameras clicked, capturing its imposing facade against the backdrop of lush green hills. The house was a masterpiece, an architectural marvel with four bedrooms, cascading lawns and terraces that seemed to defy gravity, but it was what lay beyond the polished exterior that fueled rumors and sent shivers down spines. Locals whispered of its haunting, a tale passed down through generations. The house belonged to a single lady, they said, but no one knew her name. She vanished years ago, leaving behind a mansion that stood as both a testament to her wealth and a monument to her solitude. The Gangster Paradise. The locals had a name for the area surrounding the house, the Gangster Paradise. It was a place where shadows clung to every tree, where the wind carried secrets, and where even the bravest dared not tread after dark. The house itself seemed to absorb the darkness, its windows like vacant eyes staring out into the abyss. The abandonment. Why had the lady left? Why did she abandon her opulent abode? The answers remained elusive. Some claimed she had fallen victim to incessant robbery attacks, while others whispered of a curse, a malevolent force that drove her away. The truth was lost in the folds of time, buried beneath layers of fear and superstition. The Midnight Wanderer. One moonless night, a lone wanderer decided to explore the house. His footsteps echoed through the empty corridors as he pushed open creaking doors. Dust motes danced in the moonlight, and the air smelled of decay. The walls seemed to whisper, their secrets brushing against his skin. In the grand hall, a chandelier swung gently, casting eerie shadows on the marble floor. The wanderer climbed the grand staircase, each step groaning under his weight. The bedrooms were frozen in time, unmade beds, faded curtains, and mirrors that reflected nothing but emptiness. The portrait. In the master bedroom, he found a portrait, the only trace of the lady who once called this place home. Her eyes bore into his soul, haunting and sorrowful. Her lips curved in a half-smile, as if mocking the living. He wondered what had driven her away, what horrors she had witnessed within these walls. The unseen presence. As the wanderer descended the stairs, he felt a presence, a cold breath on his neck. He turned, but there was no one. Yet, the air thickened, suffocating him. The chandelier swayed violently, and the walls seemed to close in. Panic clawed at his chest. The vanishing act. He stumbled out of the house, gasping for air. The moon peeked through the clouds, illuminating the empty lawns. And then, as if mocking him, the house vanished. One moment it stood there, and the next it was gone. The wanderer fell to his knees, tears streaming down his face. The eternal mystery. To this day, the house remains, an enigma etched into the hills. Travelers still stop, cameras in hand, drawn by its allure. But none dare enter. The lady's fate remains unknown, her spirit perhaps lingering in the shadows, waiting for someone to unravel the truth. And so, the haunted house of Kisimus Riyadh Hills stands, a silent witness to a tale of beauty, abandonment, and the inexplicable. Its secrets buried deep, its corridors echoing with whispers, it beckons to those who seek answers. But beware, for some mysteries are best left undisturbed. Note, the haunted house of Riyadh Hills is a real place, and its allure continues to captivate curious souls. Whether it truly harbors ghosts or merely memories, we may never know. This is the Nairobi Fame TV, where we bring you the latest, trending, and urban news in Nairobi, Kenya, and from around the world. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.